want to talk about the three most common causes of squeaking on clarinet. Clarinet players do squeak. It's a fact of life, and I'm sure you're hearing this in your students. But helping them understand what the causes are is a great way for them to start to cure the problem themselves. So one of the most common causes of squeaking is that their reed is too soft. And this could be that they've played on one reed for a very long time and it really should be replaced. That's one reason. Reeds do get a little bit softer every day that we play them. So student who's using it more than about three weeks, if it was a three, it's probably gone down to a two and three quarters or softer. But more commonly, a lot of times students don't know that they've outgrown their reed strength and they should go up to a higher level. Now we have another video here that goes into more detail on reed strength, which you might want to consult. But I will just say that that's one of the indicators that a reed is too soft, is that you hear little squeaks and chirps coming out, and a reed that's too soft will do that much more than a reed at the right strength. The second most common cause of squeaking, and this one I would be suspicious of with most students, is that they're biting a little bit on the mouthpiece. And biting is just tension in the jaw. It's biting down on the reed will definitely cause it to squeak. We tend to do this in the most difficult spots. So a lot of times I'll have a student say, I don't usually squeak. I don't know why I always squeak here. And I can see it in watching them. They might be playing along and all of a sudden they get to a part where it's like, okay, I'm going to do this. This is the hard part. And I see them, mm -hmm. you know, these sort of horrible chirpy squeaks come out and that's just the tension that there. So sometimes it's just that they naturally do it in a tough spot. Some kids are biters all the time. So there is a, a little fingering that can help you diagnose this that we talked about in a different video. I'll give you a real quick rundown. It's called my embouchure tester, thumb, first two fingers. When they blow this fingering, if they get a squeak, that's another indication they're a biter. And I encourage you to watch that video for more details. That Biting is probably something that you'll see in a lot of students and look for shoulder tension if that's what it is. The counter to biting is to really encourage them to bring the corners of their mouth in. You can tell a student they're biting and they should open their jaw, but often that's a bit abstract. But thinking about corners coming in really does open up the embouchure and it counters that biting tendency in a really nice way and that can make a big difference to their sound. The third common cause of squeaking, and you're going to see this with your beginners when they start to play with their right hand, is that the fingers are not covering the holes properly. So with beginning students on the right hand, the lower joint of the clarinet, the holes are much bigger, and especially if it's a small-handed student, they're going to have trouble covering the holes. So in that case, I have them sit in front of a mirror. It's such a good tool. For example, look at my bottom finger right here you can see that I'm not covering the bottom of this hole. And yet, that's really common in a lot of students, especially when they're getting their pinky involved and it's stretching their finger out. Maybe they're not covering the side of the hole. If you have them look in a mirror, the students can see that themselves and they'll make those corrections. Now, in a more advanced student who perhaps can play in the low register very easily and quite comfortably, you're going to hear those squeaks when they're doing fast or awkward intervals. And in that case, they might be doing fingerings that feel quite hard, and you'll see their fingers start to move quite a bit, which is not a good habit. We want our fingers to stay really close to the keys and to be really comfortable. But if they're moving them around a lot, odds are that finger's not coming down properly. And I guess the giveaway for that as a teacher listening is only certain notes squeak, and it's only when they're doing certain passages. So. Uh, we have another video that really talks in more detail about how you should hold your hands and fingers. But if you see someone squeaking, you can watch their hands. And if they're moving a lot, odds are they're just not getting their fingers down onto the holes on time. So those are the most common causes of squeaking. I think they're useful for you to know and you can help your students figure out what's causing their squeaks. And the solutions are actually pretty simple to fix.